We celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. We're introducing you to the people and stories that make up Chicago's Latino communities. The business community is a strong one in our city, and now there's an even bigger push to promote success. WGN's Lourdes Duarte has the story behind a group of angel investors. Latinos are said to be the fastest growing segment of the business community with more than 5 million businesses across the country. There's a catch though. Very few are moving from being just a small business to becoming a million dollar company. I educated myself. I went back out and I, I was reaching out to investors that I had to, that it made sense. Small business owners tell their stories, their dreams of growth, all in an effort to convince investors to bet on them. This is what's known in the investing world as pitch night. You never yes. say no. I don't say no. Yeah. If it sounds like an opportunity, it's because it is. For Latino-owned businesses, though, it has never been that easy. Two years ago, I went out to raise. No luck, you know. They talk about the 100 no's, I probably had 200 no's. Meet Ricardo Regalado. Wrong shelves, go back and get the new shelves. <laughs> He co-founded Route, a platform of tools for the commercial cleaning industry servicing 20 states. You could say he is among the lucky Latinos growing his family business. When people talk about family friends, you know, go raise money, family friends. I, we are the family and friends. Like, I didn't have a network like that. Stories like his led a group of Latinos to create Angeles Investors, angel investors meant to change the outlook for Latino businesses in every corner of the country, from Little Village to California, giving small entrepreneurs a chance at success. Many, many businesses are below a million in revenue, and it's because there isn't the capital needed to fuel growth. look at our community, hardworking, innovative, energetic, the grit that we put into the businesses, we believe there's an opportunity to make a, a definite strong return on investment. Despite that, a recent Stanford University study found that Latino-owned businesses have lower approval rates than white businesses when requesting loans above $50,000. It's definitely a national, national um, problem. It's devastating, actually, because especially in a city like Chicago, it was built on the backs of the braceros from Mexico. And so sometimes there's a perception that, well, they're all recent arrivals. Well, no, Latino hood has a very long history in Chicago. Here's a theory behind that lack of investment. It might be viewed as risk, right? So they look at it and say, well, they're not going to the right school. They're, you know, they may not have the right networks. And am I going to make this bet on this startup? AJ De Leon's story is a step in changing that perception. The former Chicago Public Schools educator co-founded Innovare, a tool to help schools make data-driven decisions. The company has raised $5 million since 2017. That's very rare for uh, Hispanic-led and or minority-led companies. Only about 2% of the $280 billion they were given in 2021 went to companies that look like ours. It's a reality that he says doesn't fit the country's demographics, with Latinos now making up 20% of the population and with nearly 5 million businesses across the country. For him, growth equals help, the help he's received and the help he's now giving back. That's one of my greatest pleasures, right, to be able to hire my own people and for them to continuously tell me that they feel seen and affirmed at work. And there are some indications that Latino businesses are growing at a faster pace than before. The Stanford Research Project on Latino Entrepreneurs estimates that the annual payroll of Latino-owned businesses grew over twice as fast as those of white-owned businesses in the last decade. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.